Hello, I'm Dr. Marwan Sabah, a neurologist, a director of translation research at the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health in Las Vegas, Nevada, and spend the entirety of my time and career taking care of people with Alzheimer's and other dementias and doing research. I want to talk about a concept that you know about but don't know about. It's called amyloid related imaging abnormalities or ARIA. You actually know it as uh, basogenic edema and microhemorrhages. Uh, the terms that are used in the Alzheimer's space that are relevant to us is that aria E is vasogenic edema and aria H is microhemorrhages. These are potential complications of monoclonal antibodies as a class, particularly the ones that are targeting amyloid. Uh, mechanistic perspectives are is that uh, uh, the monoclonal antibodies might bind into the uh, cerebrovascular amyloid uh, and cause uh, uh, removal of that and make the vessels essentially leaky. That's been the concepts. But I have to tell you that as a practitioner, having seen these patients over the years, uh, first time we saw it when I was back in 2005, it was uh, with the bapinuzumab program. And I will say to you, it was, it was a little scary uh, to see vasogenic edema. Uh, but over time, we've kind of learned a lot of things that are very important for uh, this audience to understand. Number one is that most of aria E, uh, the basogenic edema, is clinically asymptomatic. In other words, you don't know it's happening, patient doesn't know it's happening, and it might be detected on a central read. Number two is that most aria is missed by or not detected by the local read it has historically only been associated, uh, picked up on the central read. Number three is that if it is symptomatic, aria tends to be very, very mild. A little headache, a little confusion. It is extremely rare nowadays to see patients that need to have admissions to the hospital, cortical steroids, spinal taps, et cetera. Almost never happens nowadays. So it's important that this audience understands that a vasogenic edema or aria E is not always uh, kind of, you know, call 911 and send them to the hospital. Number four is that most of the time it is asymptomatic. And so the typical scenario for managing these patients is you stop a dose and then you dose through. So what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, uh, vasogenic edema is uh, pretty easy to manage. This is aria E. I do want to spend a moment talking about aria H, microhemorrhages. Microhemorrhages are actually an MRI, MRI finding that has been known to be associated with Alzheimer's disease. We do know that uh, uh, a certain number of microhemorrhages, so let's say 10 or more microhemorrhages, will be, if it's detected prior to the use of monoclonal antibodies, might increase uh, some uh, risk for developing vasogenic edema. But if you have no microhemorrhages, uh, on your scan or very few microhemorrhages, say less than five, the risk of, of a vasogenic edema is very low. My point is, is that aria is manageable. Aria is uh, mostly clinically asymptomatic, and it's a term that you will need to know about as you start to use these monoclonal antibodies.